Hey, Ricky, you said you had a job for me? Hey, Deke. Yeah. You remember Shane Riley? Everyone called him Red. Red Riley. Yeah, never heard of him, but let me guess. Ginger? But red hair? No. It was his boots. He wore these rattlesnake boots dyed with god-awful red color. He made quite the impression. <laughs> no, I bet. Anyway, he used to do runs for us back in the day until one day he decides he didn't like the camp credits we were paying. So he up and kills Lindsay Fuller. Who? Lindsay. Worked supply before Blair. Wait a second, so he killed an unarmed woman? Oh, she was armed. She just wasn't expecting him to shoot her in the face. Will you listen? So Red murders her, cleans out her supply hut, and then takes off before anyone knows what's happened. Got away clean. Oh, that son of a bitch. Until now. He and his men have been spotted up at Camp Pioneer. You don't gotta ask. I, uh, I got this thing about, um... About killing unarmed women. I know. So I knew you'd want to handle it. Yeah, like I said, I got this covered. Um, what else can you tell me about him? Not much. Oh, wait. He chews tobacco. I heard he was such an addict that he rounds up cigarette butts, takes out the tobacco, and chews that. Well, that's disgusting. So now I got two reasons to kill him. Yeah, but be careful, Deke. Hey, Ricky, I'm at Camp Pioneer, and it is a goddamn war zone. What's going on? Are any of our guys there? Uh, no, I don't think so. Sounds like they're clearing freaks. Uh, don't worry. I'll find this guy. Deacon out. Hey, Drifter. We got whiskey, you hear me? We can give you a swig, warm you up some. Hey, Ricky, I got him. Deacon, what a relief. Lindsay has some folks she was close to. I'll let him know. Yeah, okay. I'll see you around, Ricky. I've been uh, thinking about what you were saying about doing something to make a difference around here, pay back the camp. I'm listening. Do you got a few minutes? I want to show you something. Yeah, guess I can spare you a minute or two. So where are we heading? You ever been out to the caves north of the lake? I know. Come on, see if you can keep up. Okay, let's go. I got marsh duty anyway this morning. Gotta see if any freaks are stuck in the muck out that way. When's the last time you went up there? Been a few years, I guess. When I was a boy, we used to live in that damn cave. My old man sort of fancied himself a geologist. Sounds like we got a couple. Freaks stuck in the mud, I mean. Yeah, sounds like. Here, let me... Okay! Need that? Nice work. Hey, Schizo's just found a new man for the job. You know what Schizo can go do. 
Anyway, as I was saying, we spend hours talking about how all these caves were formed when lava flows would harden on the outside, but the molten cores would still flow like buried rivers. You got the big caves that drew in the tourists, like Metolius up there. There's way more than that. Riddled all over these parts. Okay, okay, we're coming up on the highway. We gotta be quiet. Jesus Christ! This is why you brought me out of here? Smell a bunch of goddamn freaks? Yeah. Okay, okay. Come on, follow him. Wait, wait, wait. Follow him? Where the hell are we going? You'll see. Come on. Don't get too close. Stay down. Stay down. Just what the hell are we doing, Deke? This doesn't seem all that smart, even for a goddamn drifter. Hold up, hold up. You remember telling me about how the tourists used to flood up from California in the summer, choke off Highway 97 and the I-5 freeway? Yeah, in July, folks smelled almost as bad as these here freaks. Well, you weren't wrong about one thing. These freaks, the big groups, the ones that some call hordes, I think they're the reason we can't get their numbers down. What do you mean? Think about it, man. I've been out here in the shit collecting bounties for more than a year. Boozer too. Ricky, Schizo, a few others. How many freaks you think I killed? A few. A few. Yeah, but their numbers never go down. You got a point? It's these whores. Every night, there's a steady stream of them up and down the Sandium Highway. Thousands of freaks pouring into the Lost Lake Valley north of the Cascades. And you think they're coming up from California? Highway's closed off. No one's been south of the Santium Pass in years. It's not closed off to the hordes. Freaks are the reason it's closed off. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that the hordes come in every night. Not a goddamn thing we can do to stop them. Well, you got that much right. Lost more than a few men trying to back in the day. Yeah, I know. I was there. And every horde that comes through leaves a few stragglers or gets busted up and scatters and, and just like that, freaks everywhere as far as the eye can see. <clears throat> yeah, you, don't, you don't need to see them to know that they're around. You figure out a way to stop the hordes coming through, maybe we can make some headway, reduce their numbers. Make it safer. Free up more farmland, irrigation. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do that? You know goddamn well you can't take on a, a, a whatever you call it, a, a horde? This is how. I'll be goddamn. They stand there all day, hibernating or whatever the hell freaks do. So what are you thinking that we... Yep. We blow it the hell up. Stick it down to my there, there, and there. We bring down a mountain of rock. We seal this shit up. Yeah, so we trap a few hundred inside. What good is that gonna no, do? No, no, you don't get it. We seal this cave. Maybe they don't got no place to sleep. Or maybe this trail of piss and shit dries out, goes stale, and others stop coming. You get my attention. Okay, come on, let's head back. All right, my knees are warmed up a bit. Let's see if you can keep up. Yeah, okay. Tell me, when does being out in the shit make you an expert on freaks? You spend your spare time just following them around, seeing what makes them tick? Not exactly. And how do you know about all this? About what a horde's gonna do? Where they sleep? A few days ago, I was riding north of Belknap Crater when a chopper flew by. A chopper? What the hell? Just listen to me. It was a black chopper. 
One of those Nero choppers that used to fly all over the goddamn place when the shit was going down. And you saw one, still flying. I followed them. I stole one of their radios. I've been trying to track them down, see if they have a base around here. Supplies. Shit, I mean, see if the feds are still alive, you know what I'm saying? They're out here doing field work of some kind on the freaks. They're studying them. They got resources to do that while we're out here starving, fighting to stay alive. I followed them up to the Grotto Caves. You know the ones? Yeah. They had motion sensors set up, measuring how many freaks used the cave during the day, and, uh, Mike, it was thousands. That right. They said freaks all up and down the Cascade Range, south of Crater Lake and north up to Smith Rock, all used these lava tube caves to hibernate. So, we blew up those caves. Maybe we have a few less to deal with. Hey, this idea of yours, it's got some merit, but... A job like that, it's gonna take a fair amount of TNT. You said you wanted help making Lost Lake safer? This is how we do it. <sighs> All right. All right, look. There's some things I gotta do, okay? But you meet me at the bridge in a couple of minutes. I know where we can find some. St. John, you were supposed to be up at the farm an hour ago. My guy said he's got a shovel waiting for you. Yeah, Schizo, about that, I'm busy. See, Iron Mike and I, we're just heading out on a run. You and Iron Mike, you'll get your ass up that way today, or you and your gimp boyfriend are gonna find yourselves out in the shit. You hear me? Without a goddamn battle! Yeah, yeah, I'll get right on that. St. John out. You got a problem? Ready? Where are we headed? This time you're gonna have to trust me. Okay, where are we going? You know what they use to mine all around these parts? Yeah, uh, mercury or something. That's right, cinnabar. The extracted mercury from cinnabar. Folks back east think it was gold mines out here and silver. Not so. Back in the early 1900s, cinnabar was worth more than gold. To operate the mine, you need TNT for expansion, blowing out new tunnels, clearing cave-ins, that sort of shit. And to own TNT, you had to register with the county, keep copies of the keys to all your lock boxes with the commission. Wait, the county courthouse? Where the hell is that? Thought you knew. <laughs> It's in the old federal building. The old federal building. The one in Sherman's camp. Jesus, Mike. What the hell? You told me... You, you told me that you were never setting foot in that place again. Did I? I don't recall. You were drunk right after Joe was killed. Did I tell you why? No. The place is gonna be crawling, I don't, I don't think this is a good idea. Uh, weather holes will be safe enough. All right, that there, it's the old federal building. That's where we're headed. Let's not go looking for trouble. Stay out of the buildings. Come on, we gotta head over this way. Where are we headed? Just follow me. Key will be on the commissioner. And, and you know where he is? Where his body is? Yeah, I think I do. You heard what happened here. Yeah, everybody got wiped out, man, woman, and child. Only a few got out, and, and uh, you, you were one of them, right? Only two got out. Me and Nora. But it wasn't the freaks that took us out. 
What do you mean? Here. Says called a truce. A meeting. Right here. Oh, we knew what was coming. We knew what was coming and we were prepared. Fight didn't last long, but, but it was bad. They had ammunition left after all, and well, they. Oh, hell, you can see what they did. Like I said, two people walked out of this town after all was said and done. And some days. to hell one of them wasn't me. Commissioner's over there in the bean counter suit. Go get the key so we can get the hell out of here. You didn't give a damn about sealing the caves. You brought me here because... Because you, you brought me here because you wanted me to see this. Not true. All right, you got the key. We're gonna go get the maps to those mines, just like I said, and we're gonna get more than enough TNT to seal every cave in the valley. Bullshit. You are right about one thing. I'm not sorry you've seen it. Not following you, Mike. I am talking about the war that's coming! With the Rippers! The one that Schizo so hot for! Do you think he cares how many die? On either side? Never mind. Come on, let's get this done. Shit! Here's the door. Place is locked up tight. Come on, gotta find a way upstairs. Smells like something died in here. Newts. Yeah, I smell them. Bad business. Never much. Okay. All right, this is it. Now we got maps to every mine in the county showing where they stored their dynamite. Okay, come on. Hear that? Yeah. What, you expecting anyone? Nope. Do you have my back here? Hey, I don't like starting trouble, but I'll finish it if I have to. Stay behind me. Hey, I could take care of myself. I'm not saying you can't, but remember the last time that we were out in the shit. Yeah, like I said, I'm staying behind you. What a mess! Now you know why no one goes into Sherman's camp. Addie finds out you're out here risking your ass like this, she's gonna be pissed! Now how would she find out about something like that? Not from me. About the Rippers, why you wanted me to see that shit. No, Dick. I always saw a bit of myself in you. Back in the day. 
How's that? You don't give a shit. Oh, you care about your friend. Don't want to see him die, but me? Any other goddamn person on the planet? I don't think so. Terry will just get you killed. Yeah, that's right. Thing is, not caring will get you killed just as easy. The good folks of Sherman Camp did will stop caring about anyone but themselves and their own. Easy to kill a man when he's just some piece of meat standing between you and what you need. Schizo wants to kill Rippers, because he don't think they're human anymore. They don't count. They're standing in the way of what he wants. Well, I don't buy into that shit. I won't have it. You know, Schizo, he, uh, he wonders why I'm a pacifist. That's, you know, that's what he likes to call me. He, uh, he thinks I'm gonna get everybody killed. Well, are you, Mike? Are you gonna get everyone killed? Freaks aren't gonna be around forever. Now, when they're gone, we're gonna need some folks around here to help pick up the pieces. Hey, look, hey, hey. I don't like Carlos and his rippers any more than I like Tucker or, or, or Copeland and his, his, his goddamn truthers. All right, but here, look. Here's the thing, Deke. I'm not going out of my way to kill any of them. I've had my share of killing. Even if Carlos comes for you, My truce will hold. You can bet on that. Well, uh, Mike, I ain't gonna bet on that. Your truce ain't gonna hold. Yeah, for once I agree with Schizo. The Rippers, they ain't human. Not anymore. Deacon St. John, this is Lost Lake. Come in. Yeah, Mike, this is Deke. Richard brought in Shane Riley, but when I went to the shack to question him, he wasn't there. Uh, yeah, uh, about that, Mike. I tried to bring him in. I really did, but he, uh, well, he put up a hell of a fight. So he didn't leave me much choice, Mike. He didn't. Remember what I said about how we do things around here. Yeah, yeah, Mike, I remember. Lost Lake out. Thanks. I wonder how blue there's I guess I should go check on him. Hope he's awake. Deke, you gotta hurry. Ricky, what's going on? That guy we've been looking for, Eric Lynch, who, who murdered Camel and Reed. At the farm? Lynch man. Son of a bitch. You know where he is? Yes, uh, yeah. He's on the north shore at the old boat launch. Skizzle wanted to go after him, but Iron Mike said to get you. I'll get to him. Thanks, Deke. Hurry. Captain Corey! Okay, Captain Corey! Just radio him, dammit! The outpost is under attack! Corporal, we gotta move out! Gotta move out! Corporal, there's more coming. Corporal! My shot. What the hell? How's it going, brother? No, Deke. I don't know about you, but, uh, I could use a hand. Uh. <laughs> you lay down. Yes, ma'am. He can't have visitors uh. just yet, but uh, I could really use a hand. Okay, I'll see you later. I'll be here. Hey, Doc, Doc, seriously, though. Um, will I be able to play piano after all this is over? Very funny, William. Lay down. <laughs> okay. I could play chopsticks. No, seriously, I could. I'd be like... <laughs> As you can see, he's gonna be just fine. His fever's completely gone. Good, that's good. All right, well, I gotta go take care Deacon, of some shit. like I said before, William really does owe you his life. Boozer doesn't owe me shit. I owe him. Hey, 
I saved two more. Eddie and Mia would have died without those antibiotics. I just thought you should know. my day a lot more complicated. Okay, fine. I'll chase him down. Deacon out. This is it. What have we got? You're mine now. Oh shit, there he is! Red Lynch, man, come on! Oh, no, you're not gonna get away. I'm not coming back! Go to hell! You can't get away from me! I'm not coming back! Go to hell! How's it going, Lynch man? What, is the camp not feeding you well enough? Fuck you! Thought you just kill a couple guys right off with our shit? Don't matter if a bunch of folks here die of starvation because you got what you need, right? Get off of me, you son of a bitch! Hey, 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 listen to me. Rick is gonna send some men for you. You tell them where you stash the seeds, maybe they'll just shoot you, you know, instead of hanging you slow. What do you think about that? I don't know what the hell you're talking about! Okay, man, suit yourself. Hey, Ricky, I got him. And I'll uh, send you his position. Send someone out here to pick him up. Does he have the seeds on his bike? No, no, I didn't see him. All right. We'll bring him in. Lost Lake out. I got out of the infirmary today, man. And he said she'd heard enough of my wine in the last her lifetime. Sounds like Addy. How's the arm? Yeah, it's about 50% there. Sorry, I don't like the tea. Seriously, though, it's like I can still feel my right hand. I think they call that phantom pain. Yeah, that's what Addy said. It fucking sucks. I feel pain in my finger joints, you know? Like... After a long ride, your hand gets gummed up. Go to flex it. And... Anyway, I I gotta get going. This has got me on farm duty. I'm gonna see if I can uh, lay off these damn pain meds that Eddie has me on. Later. Later. Brian, I'm at one of your beacons, the one outside of Rogue Camp. Drifter, uh, uh, St. John, I mean, uh, copy that. Why am I here? I show, uh, Hilo incoming to that location now. Be ready. O'Brien out. Uh, psh, that's why I'm here. St. John, they should have arrived at your location. Do you see them? Yeah, yeah, kind of hard to miss. What do you need me to do? Get close to the researcher. Remember, you have to stay in their proximity or I can't intercept their data. I okay, need the area yeah, secured now. I mean, this I time, I need you to plan one of those track... Okay, I gotta place a tracker on that chopper. Here we go. 
Echo 2060. We have now completed the survey of 24 nesting sites, including those at Marion Forks, the Pioneer Cemetery, the Cascade Highway Lumber Site, the truck stop on the old Belknap Road. What was that called again? Ah, Crazy Willies. Yes, very rustic and touristy. Some things about the old world I don't miss. A crazy Willies, south of the Belknap Crater. I got a question, Doc. Sure, it's not like I'm busy or anything. The nests. Why do they build them? We don't know. Why do they only build them in, you know, building structures, cabins, things like that? We have a theory that... I mean, we never see them where wild animals would build them. In trees or out in the wilderness, only houses. You finished? Sorry. The guys back at the <laughs> lab have a theory. I'm sure when they're ready to talk about it, they'll come rushing down to the barracks to let you know. Jesus. Just ask it. I see things too, you know. It wasn't always a grunt, you know. Can I continue? Sure. South of Belknap Crater. Some areas of the Belknap wilderness were not surveyed due to the proximity of nesting sites to human encampments. In particular, a large camp at... Salome Hot Springs. Oh, yes. Salome. On Herod's birthday, she danced before them, whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. She said, give me the head of John the Baptist, and the king was struck sad. Quite the name for a resort. Oh, shit. Again, some things about the old world I don't miss. Upload complete. Yeah. The Bible.